Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Covering both sides of the big issues with the analysis you trust on News Radio 1040 WHO. So now we thought we'd talk about uh, vehicles that can repossess themselves. No, no, really. Jo- joining us to uh, talk about that is a uh, regular uh, guest on our show. He is the patent professor. His name is John Rizvi. Welcome back, John. How are you? Yeah, terrific. Always great to be here. Always good to have you. So apparently uh, Ford is planning to build vehicles uh, that can repossess themselves, which will upset a lot of towing companies, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, so they have a, uh, a, a patent application that shows a vehicle that does exactly what you say. It repossesses itself. But um, it's funny that the repossession is like the last resort. But I, I just can't get over all their minor steps that they take before they repossess. And I don't know if, if you have if you have time tonight. I can yeah, we do. Go over a couple of them there. Yeah. So the, you know, so if you don't pay your bills, uh, your, your car payment, one of their options is to turn off your air conditioning. So that before it gets repossessed. Uh, it has a computer, the patents on a computer that will turn off your air conditioning. That's hysterical. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, oh, my God. Not, and, and as a lawyer, We're going to yeah, roast you out of your vehicle. <laughs> roast you till you, you pay your, your, make your car payment. Uh, the other one's not as absurd. It's locking you out of the car. Uh-huh. So the car, the computer can lock you out. This one is, 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 I think, crazy. It will emit, and I'm reading directly from the patent. Emit an incessant, unpleasant sound from the car radio until you call your bank. <laughs> so here you are. You can't turn it off. Uh-huh. You're behind uh-huh. on your payment. Yeah. Now yeah. you have no option but to drive around with this. And they don't, you know, they don't explain what the sound is. A good patent attorney keeps things broad. So it could be anything uh, that's annoying. Right. That, that, this is really fascinating, isn't it? I mean, I, I'm only partially tongue-in-cheek where i say uh that uh, towing company is going to be very upset uh because if they if it gets to the point where uh, ford says sends a signal and says come home <laughs> or whatever and uh, <laughs> right and the, right. the vehicle uh, starts itself up and uh, and heads out uh, to uh, go back from whence it came um that's going to be a sight to see doesn't isn't it 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 will, but it, it it like you know. Sometimes I had a, a professor in law school once that said you can't make up that all his exams come from real life because the stuff in real life is is so crazy. It, like he can't even make it up. If the if this vehicle has been called uh, back, there, there's no payments, so come home, and it's on its way, and the owner interferes, and I it does the patent doesn't go into what interference would be. Like uh, the vehicle automatically calls the police. Um, <laughs> so here you get the police called by a robot, and the police is called to help, I guess, an electronic vehicle uh-huh. from the owner interfering in the repossession. The vehicle is trying to repossess itself. The owner gets in the way. The vehicle calls the police. Uh, uh, mm. None of these people have ever seen a Terminator movie is all I have to say about this. <laughs> uh, all right, John. Uh, I, we have the smartest audience in talk radio. And uh, uh, somebody has just texted me on our American Topper and Accessories text line, 515-989-1040. And he or she says, if I buy the vehicle outright, is that programming deleted? Mm. Oh, a good, good question. The patent doesn't talk about that, but um, that is a really good question. Isn't it? Yeah. (laughs) Well, first of all, it should never be repossessed. But here's the thing. I would want it to Wait, wait it. a minute. You just said never. Come on. Yeah. You know programming can go wrong. It, well, right. Like, none of us have ever seen a, a computer malfunction, right? Like, right. that's the worry. Even if it's paid in full, I, I completely agree with that listener. That's a smart listener. I would want this program off the car completely because I don't right. want it malfunctioning, right. turning off the air conditioning, turning <laughs> off the heat. Who knows right. what else? Like... Exactly, exactly. Uh, someone is, says this is like the Canadian truckers, uh, or if the government does not like your politics, they can shut your vehicle off. Mm. Someone, uh, can, someone has uh, uh, put on a brand new tinfoil hat for that one. 
it's a uh, it's, conspiracy it's theory. Up. Yes, once the technology is out there, you see, everyone just assumes the government's got access to it. And, and here's the, the the beauty, I think, of the the patent system is when a patent is published, it's open for anybody to see. Uh, so this they can't keep this confidential once the patent is published. But uh, before, you know, they I think it's a, a, a PR nightmare for them. So they've come forward. They said they have no current plans to deploy this uh, and that they submit patents all the time on inventions as a normal course of business, but they're not necessarily an indication of products that are coming. So I think that's just a, the, a standard disclaimer that has to be made. But uh, but it's still causing quite an uproar because these are, these are uh, you know, especially from a, a liability and, and injury standpoint, like these, I just imagine some of the malfunctions. Some of the things they talk about is even being able to control the brakes, the accelerator, the lights, the cruise control, windows. I mean, can you like imagine a window malfunctioning and you're at a Starbucks trying to trying to get your your latte, and all of a sudden some signal gets crossed, and instead of the car behind you, somehow your vehicle. Uh, gets the signal to close the window, and there you are with your hand out the window, trying to get your your cappuccino, whatever, and then yikes! Like the, this, this is it, it definitely seems uh, to be a risky uh, thing to actually implement. Mm. Uh, well, uh, it's uh, it's certainly very very interesting. I do uh, keep telling you we have the smartest audience in talk radio. Uh, they say good country songs include a guy's wife leaving them now. Their trucks can too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I, I think we could be in for the truck leaving your uh, leaving you. Uh, John, uh, you are the patent professor. Tell us what that means. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's I protect new ideas. So patents, trademarks that protect brands, and uh, any of your listeners can find us uh, on, on you know Instagram, TikTok, Facebook under the patent professor the website's the patent professor as well uh i love protecting new ideas hopefully if you have smart uh listeners i, I don't want anything else that 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 repossesses itself I don't, we don't want repossessing you know cars that repossess themselves homes that eject uh <laughs> oh you know <laughs> nope. a trap door opens up and all of a sudden the family gets sucked out into the basement <laughs> exactly because <laughs> you're behind behind on your rent like nothing like that if, if they have good ideas that uh, that actually I think are, are good for society in general, then I'd love to, to protect them. Okay, and um, uh, remember Ford say they're not no plans to deploy this, but keep an eye on it just in case they do. And as uh, our texter said, if uh, you buy your vehicle outright, you would need to insist and get it in writing that they have removed all programming that enables them to repossess your vehicle uh, by itself. John, uh, thanks very much. Always a pleasure. Always a lot of fun having you on. I appreciate it. You take care, all right? All right, you too.